This afternoon, slender storms were short lived, but packed a punch. This video out of Old Orchard was taken by meteorologist Mike Slifer near Pirates Cove Adventure Golf. You can see some flash flooding there covering roads and parking lots. There have also been scattered power outages reported. Hope it didn't wash out his golf game. No, he actually works part time as a parrot on a <laughs> pirate shoulder there. It's great. It's, uh, it's a good sidekick for him. Yeah. Uh, we had, you remember when we couldn't buy rain? Like that yeah. seems like a lifetime ago now. Um, there is still a little bit of a drought in spots, but I think by Thursday's drought monitor that will be gone. There's round one that came through and it was pretty heavy with downpours and a lot of lightning. And there's another round into the Champlain Valley of Vermont. But as you can see, there's a lot of space between us here. And so uh, if this line comes through, we're talking late tonight. The last of it's moving over down East Main right now. But uh, most of us will be dry for the next couple of hours. We're actually seeing some late day sunshine and a really nice sunset uh, coming up. And part of the reason for that is smoke. That's what you saw today. A lot of people were saying, man, it's really hazy out there. That's not haze. It's actually smoke for wildfires in western Canada. It got picked up by the jet stream, dipped through the Midwest, and then moved into the entire Northeast and kind of got it dumped over us last night and early this morning. So what you saw there was smoke, which will probably be around through part of tomorrow as well. Tomorrow in general will be a mixture of sun and clouds, but a little bit more weighted towards cloud cover, I think, over central and northern Maine. And then pop up showers and storms possible throughout the day, but the best chance of those will be in the afternoon and early evening. Once again, potential for some heavy downpours in there tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night as these storms rotate through. And then by Thursday morning, we're cleared out. It's a drier air mass and we're uh, largely sunny. I think on Thursday with temperatures in the mid 70s to upper 70s. We roll through into Friday with an isolated sprinkle, but uh, I think Friday is nice overall. Saturday looks dry and I think it's the better of the two weekend days. By Sunday clouds increase. We could see a shower on Sunday afternoon. It might hold off enough that we get most of the day in, but it's it's really within a couple of hours right now. So I, I did put the shower chances in there. If you're longing for that heat that we had through a lot of June, this is the first signal I'm seeing that we could get back into a little bit of it at least, but it's not until mid next week. You watch this ridge and this heat it's building in the central part of the country and then it starts to shift to the east a little through mid next week, which gives us some chances to get warm to possibly hot. Uh, we're talking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. Marine forecast sees around two feet, water temperature 64, winds of the south at five to 10 knots. So I like Thursday, most of Friday, I like Saturday. Sunday's okay. I'm not sure if it'll be a little bit too cloudy for most people's taste, and then we should have to warm up on Monday and Tuesday. Again, guys, I don't see that upper 90s that we had in June, but we could get close to 90 by late next week. All right, thank All you, right. Keith.